All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem Yahushah, Bahashem Rakakudash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers laboring worldwide in truth and sincerity. Salutations and blessings to the hopeful elect, believing on the words of Yahweh Bahashem Yahushah. It's Brother Dabada coming to you with another lesson. Lord will is edifying. And uh, we went into, you know, being the light of the world, you know, in the live stream, you know, and that light starts with Yahweh Shah. And what did our Lord do for us? He warned us of the things to come. He warned us of the impending danger that's lurking around the corner, man. And in the same stead, that's what we're here to do. All right? If you uh in a dark alley and you don't know that uh, your enemy is hiding out and waiting for you, all right, where you be able to see according to the light, how you want to know how to protect yourself, man? How you want to know which way to turn? All right? So this light going out is, is, is really a warning from the Lord. You have about shower shot. All right, this is Ezekiel chapter 3 and verse 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel, right? And the only ones who's going to hear this trumpet being blown are the, 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 the children of Israel, more importantly, the elect of the children of Israel. Matter of fact, real quick, let's prove that. This is the book of Joel. Chapter 2 and verse 1. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion, see, and sound an alarm in my holy mountain. Who is that holy mountain? Well, it's the Israel, and then it's the Israel of the Most High. All right? The ones who've been made sanctified through the word. It says, Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble, for the day of the Lord is not at hand. <clears throat> So you people supposed to be in, in, in fear. You're supposed, you're supposed to be trembling when you hear this warning go out. All right? Mainly to you so-called blacks, you so-called, excuse me, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. You're the ones who's supposed to be uh, compelled to, to rise to your feet and, and, and come back to your power and spirit and the truth, man. When you hear this warning go out, back in Ezekiel, chapter 3 and verse 17 it says son of man I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me see that and that ultimate warning is coming from Yahweh through Yahweh shine and is uh, facilitated through his men alright who bring forth and push forth the gospel of Yahweh by Yahweh shine alright I want to get this word warned <clears throat> real quick this light is shining everywhere all right shining in this gross darkness that word light strong h 2094 it says to admonish right warn right teach see that teach it says shine send out light see that send out light be light, be shining. So we got our our, our our lamps are shining. All right, that 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 uh that light that can't be here, man. Okay, why? Because it's gonna turn many to righteousness. You see, let's go to the book of Daniel. But we got a uh, furrowly show this light, man. You know, hey, this is a. Uh, a beautiful way. It's dark as shit, you know? You have little street lights and stuff. But if I ain't had these headlights, I wouldn't be able to see my way down this road, man. You know? But that's the same way with this truth. All right? And it comes with a warning, okay, for, for you to be able to see, you know, the impending danger. All right? For you to be able to see all hell is set to break loose. Okay? This is Daniel. 
chapter 12 and verse 2, it says, And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth, what is the dust of the earth? Confusion, right? Not knowing who you are according to the scriptures, right? Not understanding what time and season you're in, right? It says, And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake some to everlasting life and some to everlasting excuse me, and some to shame and everlasting contempt, right? You don't come back in the kingdom, shame, right? It says, and this is the point, it says, and they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament. See that? And they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they shall turn many to righteousness, see, as the stars forever and ever, see? So as we're giving you this warning, all right, uh, it's sending out light, all right, that, that we may be able to walk in this gross darkness. Okay, that's the way the Lord set it up, man. That it, this this uh this doctrine comes with a warning, man. All right, warning you of the impending danger, warning you of the things to come, warning you that you how how you how about shout shot gets down, right? And, and uh, that's why it's important to take heed, right? Let's get that. Just a little something that was on my spirit, you know. That, that light is very important. Again, uh, you're not going to be able to see without the light, man. You know? Your eyes actually require light to see. All right? It, it, it reflects the light that is come, comes into it and, and, it, and it illuminates your eyes, man. You know? That's the same way with this truth. Once we got that eye salve, you know, that, that healing ointment on our eyes, the Lord showed us things that um, these people have no clue of what's going on, man. You know? Why is that? Because we have the light and they don't. Okay? Let's go here. Um, real quick. Okay, first time. Bear with me. <clears throat> yep. First Timothy chapter four. And we're gonna start at uh no oh, we'll get straight to the point. Verse 16. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, which is this light, which is uh given by Yahweh by Shabbat, right? Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. See that? And them that hear thee. All right? And, and that's that. That's it. sending out that warning, man. All right? We went into that definition of warning in Ezekiel 3. All right? And it means to send out light. All right? Those warning flashes that's going out. Telling you to repent, all right? Telling you to get right with your power before all hell break loose. Because we right there at the door, man. Everything is ready, you know? The MOTB, all right, which is that RFID, CHIP, okay? You got uh, the brain, CHIP, okay? You got uh, Donald Trump talking about bringing back some Mario execution, right? You got um, you got uh, the war intensifying with uh, Ukraine and Russia. All right, you got uh, China threatening to uh, send uh, artillery, guns, and, and, and whatnot to uh, assist Russia. All right, in, in, in the fight against Ukraine. Okay, so everything is right there. You got the famine set to lay hold. All right? Well, all those things are that one and that light being sent out that, that you're going to uh, 
need to see in this dark time, man. Okay? I pray this man will find. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rekak Badash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles, and elders of Great Millstone. Much respect to the brothers labor worldwide in truth and sincerity, salutations, and blessings to the whole field left. Leaving on the words of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Uh, to the next time, Shabbat DTA and a Bible ball soon.